Hi, my name is Kim Vogels, and this is the Actors Chronicles. Um, so basically, I've been acting since maybe I was 14. Um, but really, everything started when I was way younger. My, um, my mom was a, a musician, and so she had us, me and my sister, um, be really into music from a very early age. So uh, I decided to be uh, a cellist, and my sister was playing the piano, and um, we were, you know, we moved around a lot. I, I grew up in Amsterdam and Portugal and Seattle and upstate New York, kind of all over the place. And we had to keep ourselves entertained, so um, we did little performances and a lot of music and a lot of um, basically just imaginary worlds that we created. And I think from that point on, we just loved performing and anything that like just would bring you to another place or like just have a lot of fun and um for a very long time i was going to be a cellist and then around age 14 i actually uh became obsessed with uh, buffy the vampire slayer and um that's really what you know i started to look into these people who, who played these characters that um were i don't know brought me to another world and it maybe it was very superficial at the time but i loved it and i I really got intrigued at what they were doing. So then I took a, um, a Meisner acting class in upstate New York. And um, she, the teacher actually forbid anybody under the age of 16 to come, but I was 14 and I um, lied for a couple of years. And um, I'm very happy about it. And I told my parents, you know, I'm gonna be an actor. And they were very supportive and, you know, they love the creative world and were really great. <laughs> That I, grateful that I was going to be a part of it. I um, then decided after high school to go to a, a drama school in London and I studied experimental theater so not regular naturalistic theater, um, the weird stuff, uh, running around. We were, we were famous on campus for running around naked even though I have no idea why that's any performance really besides nudity. Um, and uh, we, we just had a lot of fun exploring what art was and it was definitely tough at times but it expanded my horizon of, of art, of performance, of what I wanted and I think sometimes the best way to figure out exactly what you want to do is to do what you don't want to do. Um, and not that I don't want to do experimental theater, I, I, there's definitely a part of me that's a little avant-garde but I then after working for a year in London, I uh, decided to move to New York and study method acting, which was the exact opposite if, for all intents and purposes. And I went to Lee Strasberg Theater Film Institute. And uh, there I, I studied camera work and really for um, naturalistic acting. And, and I, I met some great teachers, Robert Ellerman, Paul Calderon, um, just really great people who inspired me. And, um, t basically taught me that to be the actor that you need to be, or that you want to be, you got to be closer to the person that you truly are. And so I think that since going to Strasbourg, I've realized that the most important journey as an actor is the journey as a person. And the closer you get to yourself, the better acting you are, you're doing in, in anything you're doing. And um, and, you know, I'm, I'm also an now musician and I, I play the guitar and I do a lot of music and I think that that journey is not separate from the actor. You know, that journey brings me closer to that person and, um, and also it's gotten me cast in a lot of things. It's, I think if you have a niche in this industry, if you are a play the cello or if you play the guitar or you sing a certain way or you look a certain way, it's, is it typecasting? Maybe that's what other people see, but um, you are who you are, and you can expand on it, and you can you can play with the the dynamics of you. But you are, I am tall. I don't play short people. I mean, I'm, you know, that's the way things go. So um, you find your niche, and you you settle in it, and you explore it, and then you know eventually you you get in this industry where you you do those those projects where you're playing the guitarist or the, the, the singer-songwriter or the 
the bitch or the uh, girl next door or whatever you call it. And then people start to trust that you have the ability to do something else. And then eventually you get parts that maybe expand from the horizons that you've built. And that's just the way I hope my career goes. Is that enough? <laughs>